Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm here to bring you my week 56 post-op VSG update. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on July 1st, 2013. Today is July 29th, 2014. It is a Monday, so it's weigh-in day, and I wanted to make sure and give you all a quick update for my week 56. Um, I want to take the time and thank everyone so, so, so much for all of your comments on my last video. Um, I'm so grateful for all of your thoughts and prayers during this what's going to be, I'm sure, a crazy journey on trying to get pregnant, um, but I just wanted to take the time and thank you all so much. Your support means so much to me. This, The whole journey has been incredible because I have all of you just supporting me along the way and um, always offering up really awesome words of advice and encouragement, and so I just wanted to thank you all so much for just being here for me during all of this. Um, and I'm just crossing my fingers that it happens this first time around. I know that that's probably unrealistic, but I'm just trying to stay optimistic. I'm trying to just uh, focus on the positive and hopefully um, we're able to get pregnant this first time around. But I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit in this video about maintenance. Um, as you know, in the last th probably three or four weeks, I have waited on Monday and every single Monday I'm the exact same weight. Um, that has never happened to me before, ever in my whole life. I have never been one weight for that long. It's always just been up or down or, you know, climbing higher and higher and higher. It's never been one weight. And, I mean, every single morning on Mondays, I will get up and I will weigh myself and it's 189 staring back at me. And I just, I don't know, like, it's just mind-blowing. Like, I just... I don't even understand it. Um, honestly, it's hard to wrap your mind around when you just struggled with weight with your weight for so long. Um, but you know, from the very beginning, my surgeon's advice to me when I would when I would ask him, well, "What's a good you know maintenance goal? What do you think I should you know shoot for as far as weight loss goes?" And he would always say, "Never put a number in your head." Um, he said, you know, I don't want you to fix it on a number. I want you to listen to your body. And that has been something that I've done from the very beginning. Just listening to my body and really being comfortable with where I am. Letting my body take time to heal. Um, and from both of my surgeries, from the VSG and from the gallbladder surgery. And just listening to it, you know. And that has just helped me so much throughout this whole journey. And now I can't help but to keep thinking about that. You know, my body is staying at one weight, 189. And... Um, you know, maybe this is where I'll stay. I'm perfectly content with that. I mean, I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my whole life. I feel incredible. I feel healthy. I have tons of energy. I just, I don't know. It's just really interesting though that I feel like, you know, if you continue to make really good choices, if you continue to let your tool do your work, um, do the work to maintain a weight, but you do the work as well. You know, it's not just, it's not just an easy fix. You have to put in the, the work. You have to make the good, the right choices. You have to be healthy and live a healthy lifestyle in order to make all of this work long term. And I'm so glad that from the very beginning, I started off just very, very strict on my diet and what I eat and my exercise. And, you know, I just feel like that's definitely contributed to the long term success. I mean, even being just a little over a year post-op, I just, I'm so glad that I still have that mentality, that I'm still making really good healthy choices, and I feel like that's really going to help me be able to maintain a weight, maintain a healthy weight, um, for me anyway. So, uh, I just feel like that was really interesting that, I, you know, I've been at 189 for so long, and sure enough, when I weighed this morning, I was 189. Um, it's always 189 point something, but from the very beginning, I've never, I've never counted the point something, so... Um, you know, that's very, it's just very interesting that I'm 189 again. So that's like a month of 189, um, or a little over a month, I guess. Um, but like I said, I'm okay with that. Um, that puts me at 141 pounds down since my highest weight of 330 and 117 pounds since July 1st, my surgery date on last year. Um, feeling great, feeling wonderful, and just ready to get this next part of my journey started. Um, hoping and praying that we're able to get pregnant pretty soon, and I'll be able to make a big, huge announcement. Um, and I just, you know, hoping and praying that happens sooner rather than later. So, we are just really leaving it up to God. We're really kind of praying about it and focusing on, you know, when it, it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. And, um, you know, we're just really trying to be grateful and faithful that, um, have tons of faith that, you know, we'll be able to get pregnant soon. So that is all I have for now.
I will see you guys again uh, hopefully soon. I was going to post my food haul video a couple weeks ago, but it was on the iPad and Brent was playing with the iPad and accidentally deleted it. So that's why I haven't posted it. But I will be posting one hopefully soon. Um, and if y'all have any questions or anything, feel free to comment down below and I will get back with y'all as soon as I can. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!